Hello? Yeah, it's Virtual Talks Tuesdays. Who's ready? Let's go. All right, today's virtual talk is going to be about New Jeans' new song called OMG. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the song, then the lyrics, and then I'm going to go into the MV. So stay tuned, guys. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about the song. I really, really, really love the song. I love how the song started. Like the beat was like kind of sounds like mm, 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 like that simple beat in the beginning. And the way Hani started off, she sounded really, really good on here. It's kind of like almost like a sultry, kind of like serenading type of voice, like she was singing directly to a specific person. Um, I like the way she started the song. She sounded really more mature. She sounded a lot older <laughs> than what she is on this song. I know Hani is only what 18 years. Years old and she sounded her voice sounded a lot more mature but in a good way not a bad way and i love how the beat got a little bit faster and it switched up but just a little bit not too much but just a little bit when hey Ren and menji and daniel got on the track i love the way they sung when they sung the part is they keep asking who is he like that's such a mouthful to say i wonder how many times they had to record that i wonder they get that on the first try because that's actually a pretty hard like phrase to say the way they sung it i love the way they sung it keep asking who is he over I really like the song and one thing about new jeans is that they always feel very nostalgic but very fresh like it's something that is like very retro but modern about them it's like they got the best of both worlds like it's a nostalgic feel about them but it's also a current about them as well very fun kind of like pop r&b ish kind of dance ish type of song to make you just want to get up and dance it's a really fun song okay let's talk about the lyrics of the song i want to start off with honey's intro because in the first part of the song she goes this song is about you baby only you 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 and what i got from that i got two different things she could be singing about a boy like serenading him like you know this is about you but also what i got if we're gonna go with like the theories or the lore of this whole um, music video from ditto to now omg I feel like Ditto was the fan side of the lore. And I feel like OMG is like the idol side of the lore. Of the, you know, so I'm going to talk about what I feel with this. Like, I feel like, you know, this song is, when she said this song is only, or only, it, this song is about you. A lot of times fans listen to their favorite artists and they really feel like their artist is singing to them. Like, a lot of times fans can even fall in love with certain artists, I guess you can even say, through their music. And they can feel like that artist wrote that song about them. It's kind Kind of deep then another lyric that stood out is when hey ren min g and daniel sang they say they keep asking me who is he because if we go with the theory that Hen honey is saying to the fans like this song is about you and only you they or we could think about it maybe she's singing about a boy and the fans may be asking who is he who are you dating who are you with like how a lot of times when idols start to date fans want to know who they're dating who they with even if they're not with anybody fans just want to know if the idols are dating or not now I'm going to talk about one of my favorite parts of the song is when Hani and Danielle do the chorus and they go, oh my, oh my God, I know this will happen. I really hoping that he will come through. Oh my, oh my God, is it you asking all the time about what I should do? <laughs> I think that part of the song is just so cute and I think it really showed their age group and it made it still fresh and feel, still feel young and playful because they are still very young girls um, aged from 18 to 14 years old. So I I think that part is just so cute. And what I got from that part, it's like, it could be a couple of things. Like, you're wondering that person should come through. You want the person to come around and see you, but how your fans are going to feel about it. It's like, if I don't want to date, that's cute, but the fans may not like it, which is kind of sad. And I also want to talk about another one of my favorite parts is when Hani goes, I'm going crazy, right? In the postcards. I love the way she says that, and I really feel like, Maybe she might feel like that because when you're in love, you want to be in love. You keep thinking about somebody, you want to be with that person. But if you are an idol, idols can't openly date all the time. And that can probably make them feel like they're going crazy. You know, you have these deep feelings for a person, but you can't really openly talk about it. Because if you do, the fans are going to be in your business. So it's one of those things where you can't talk about it that much. So you assess over it. It's all you can think about is being with that person but you can't really be with that person no, at least not in the open because if you are then people are going to be in your business and I, I like how they say you know i know i'm a lucky girl right it's like yes you're lucky to be famous but it comes with a catch because now you gotta let go of a lot of things and one can be your love life and the last lyric that really stood out to me is the postcards with minji hey Ren. 
in in um Hayen is when it says literally at the end I can't sleep at night I think a lot of times idols have so much stress on them like they have stress to be perfect um they have stress that if they are in relationships they have to hide them they have to like somebody gotta hide it and that can cause a person to have anxiety um you know having insomnia not being able to sleep maybe not being able to eat properly you know make them feel like they're going crazy or something okay let's talk about the video Okay, when the video starts, you see a doctor and you see some nurses basically talking to the girls. And then they go they go to Hani. And Hani is the first person that starts speaking because the doctor asks her to tell her side of the story, I guess, of why the girls are in the psych ward. So Hani starts talking about her side of the story. And Hani basically starts talking and you see her like in this huge like iPhone thing with all the apps and she's running around from different app to different app and you also see honey write on a piece of paper and it says hey sue answer my calls and if you guys know hey sue is from ditto and hey sue was the fan so i think that was very interesting and i'm going to save my thought about that until the end when i talk about the theory that i have for the mv it's interesting when you see honey basically saying that she only exists for you and the whole time i was like and i said to myself when i was watching the mv i was like girl are you serious then like a minute later ming jean was like said the same thing she was like are you Siri and then Hani was like yes that's correct in the like Siri voice I was like I started cracking up and then as the video goes on you get to see the girls are actually in a psych ward so I was like okay it went from being funny to like okay this is actually very serious like something actually is wrong with the girls like what is wrong and the whole time I'm watching this video it reminded me so much of NSYNC's drive myself crazy and if you guys know NSYNC is a 90s early 2000 boy band and if you guys know like New Jean actually has that 90s early 2000 vibe about them as well which I thought was really dope and if you guys have not heard this song before I advise you to please go check out NSYNC drive yourself crazy watch the MV and listen to the song because I really feel like the MV in the song has very similar storylines to actually new jeans omg like i think they're kind of you know saying about similar things i don't like i actually pretty thought that was pretty dope so i think you guys should definitely check out nsync's video and song as well and okay, now i'm going to talk about my theory that i have for this music video so my theory to the omg video is that new jean is a girl group and all of them has suffered for some kind of disorder because of fame they got fame at a very young age and as you guys know like a lot of child child stars go through a lot of stuff mentally and end up being diagnosed with a lot of different um disorders and stuff like that and i really feel like each girl suffer from some kind of disorder and each one of them are going through something it shows you how different people handle fame and handle stress in a different way and i'm going to explain to you what disorder each member has first we're going to start with miss siri i mean honey i believe that honey is a people pleaser People pleaser. The term people please refers to a person who has a strong urge to please other even if their own to even to their own expense. They may feel that their own wants and needs do not matter or alter their personality around others. Poor honey is like a bird in a cage. Her whole existence is to please others. That's why she keeps saying I exist for you. She wants so bad to make other people happy and to make other people like her because she cares what people think about her. She cares what people say about her. And she also cares what she says to others. Because at the end of the day, people pleasers do not want you to be mad at. They want to be liked by everybody. Even if it's people that they don't even like, they still want the people to like them. And if we go back to the Ditto video, the B-side, and one of the parts is where basically Heisu was in the room crying and her phone is constantly going off. And one of my theories was one of the girls from New Jeans was trying to call her and come to find out in the beginning of OMG, who is Honey talking to? Honey is basically writing to Heisu saying, like, please answer the call. Because people who are people pleasers want to be liked. And if you go back to the Ditto videos, both of them, you will see that a part of when Heisu finally walked away from New Jean, she decided to stop living through New Jean and she decided to start living her own life and find a real friendship with the boy. Basically, now that makes Honey sad because Honey got used to being liked by Heisu because Heisu probably was a super fan who gave her a lot of attention and now honey does not get that attention from hey who anymore that probably makes her feel bad about herself and she's gonna run herself raggedy to get hey sue to like her again because people who are people pleasers will basically run themselves raggedy to get you to like them 
That's why Hani is always the one to say, I'm, I'm going crazy, right? Because sometimes people who are people pleasers, they know what they're doing is crazy. But like I said, they still do it anyway because they want to be liked by everybody. Now we're going to go to Miss Sleeping Beauty. I mean, I mean, Hayen. As we all know by now, Hayen is the baby of the group. She's only 14 years old. And with that being said, I think that she suffers from princess syndrome. Disney princess syndrome, also seen as a comorbidity of Peter Pan syndrome. The Disney princess syndrome often appear as the inability to help oneself when presented with a new task or when faced with any unexpected problem. And if you guys are not familiar with Peter Pan syndrome, Peter Pan was basically a boy who never wanted to grow up. He had a group of friends called the Lost Boys. They lived on his island. They just never wanted to grow up. Um, and basically, the Disney princess syndrome is like the female version of the Peter Pan syndrome. And as we know by now, Hayen is the youngest one in the group. She's only 14 years old. And a lot of times when a person is away from their family at that young of an age, forced to be in a spotlight, they tend to not know how to deal with stress because they're still a child and they don't have their parents to guide them. Your parents are supposed to be on in this earth to, you know, help guide you through life. That's what your parents' job is to help you grow as a person but since she doesn't have her parents around it may be hard for her to make decisions on her own and to do things for her own and she may look through other members to help her because as you see a lot of times in Dan in the video danielle is always next to her danielle is always protecting her being there for a, a shoulder to cry on when she needs one almost like danielle was trying to protect her innocence by shielding her by putting the headphones on her ear to block out any negativity and just letting her listen to to fairy tales protect her from any negative outside you know t outside opinions that may people may be saying bad things it's like danielle's like almost like a mother bear protecting her cub it's interesting because danielle is the third oldest she's not the oldest but she's the third oldest but danielle and hayden are actually both tauruses they have the same birth sign so i wonder do they both have a lot in common because of this it's like danielle would literally lay down and you know put herself in harm's way just to protect Hayen from any bears bears can be meaning any bad boys that she could be in love with or even any fans that may try to say or do anything harmful to her it's like Daniel always there to protect her like because Hayen is a little princess she's the damsel in distress and Danielle was like the knight in shining armor now we're going to talk about the doctor. No, not this guy. I'm talking about but Ming Ji. You guys, and as you guys know, Ming Ji is the oldest member of New Jeans. She is 18 years old. She was born May 7th, 2004. And with her being the oldest, it's a lot of pressure on her to be a leader. She has to set an example for the younger members. She always has to make sure that everybody is okay. Everybody is well taken care of because she is the oldest and people will expect her to, you know, basically lead other girls by example. And the thing about being the oldest is that if you're helping everybody else, who is helping you when you need help? As you guys can see, Mean Jean is going around basically helping all the other girls. But when it comes down to her, she has to find a way to help herself. Because you've seen a part where Mean Jean is looking at one of the girls and they're on the ground. And once she walks up to the girl, it's actually her helping herself. And her, and when she's helping herself, she looks so younger and she looks like so stressed out like a lost child. Because that's probably how she feels inside. Because look at this part right here. When they get taken into the short bus, everybody is looking at Mean Jean. Because they're looking for her for guidance. They're looking for her to protect them. And basically, maybe looking for her to like get them out of this situation. And as you can see, she has this serious face on. She's not saying anything, but she just has this serious face. Because she's trying to keep a straight face and a brave face for her members. She may be scared inside, but she's not going to show it on the outside. And another part that I thought was interesting is look how the doctor and the nurses is looking at Mean Jean. They looking at her like what almost was judgment type of looks. Because I feel like this could be the fans. This can even maybe be even management putting pressure on her for her to be the leader. But people forget that this girl is only 18 years old. And 18 in Korea is still considered a minor. And yes, in America, 18 is considered a legal adult. But you're still a child because a lot of people are still in high school when they're 18 years old or just graduating. 
she is still technically a child herself. How can she be there for everybody else when she needs somebody to be there for her? Now let's talk about Miss Hayen. I feel like Hayen's was a lot more subtle. Like you have to really pay attention to the video to see Hayen. And I think they did that purposely because I feel like Hayen is like the black sheep or the black horse of the group. It's like she doesn't get that big of a storyline than the other girls because she is what you call the forgotten member. She is that member that people People tend to forget about people tend to maybe pick on her maybe she's not as liked as the other girls and because of that she just kind of falls to the side the waistline because even in this picture all the other girls are their backs are turned to the people like the girls are performing for the people at the party and Hayen is looking directly at the camera by herself like she's in the background what I also thought was interesting that look in this picture they made Hayen the princess and they made Hay Ren the villain. It was funny to me that I always thought that Hay Yen and Hay Ren look alike and their names are kind of very much similar. And I think sometimes in groups, people tend to pin two girls together like they make one like she's the victim and they all and they villainize the other group so maybe the fans are trying to villainize Hay Hay Ren and trying to basically praise Hay Yen. Cause look at this picture right here. It's like Hayren is looking at Hayen, but Hayren kind of looking more to the side. It might get to the point where if you're always being the person that's being villainized, she might really like her group. She might not feel comfortable with them. Cause if you watch the video, all the other girls have hugged each other or talked to each other, but Hayen hasn't hugged anybody. Nobody has hugged her. It might cause tension when people pin two people against each other. Sometimes that can cause tension in a group, and Hayen. I feel like because of that she doesn't speak at all she doesn't really speak to anybody she doesn't really touch anybody because she knows that no matter what she does the fans are going to twist her words and her actions to make it seem like she's jealous of the other members so to avoid any type of attack she stops talking to the members and she stops interacting with them all together which is really sad and before we get into the theory of the last member, shout out to Danielle because Danielle really played this role so well. Danielle is normally a very like bubbly, smiley, fun person and she played this character so well. Homegirl was really laughing. They Something really was wrong with her and i think they did this on purpose i think danielle was that person in the group that wants to make everybody laugh that wants to be happy no matter what is going on no matter what drama is going on danielle is going to be the one that try to get everybody to just laugh and have fun and I think that's why Danielle is always the one that's trying so hard to, rem to remind the girls that, look, we are new gene. We are a big group. We have all of this stuff going for us. That's why she's constantly, you know, trying to explain it to the girls. She's going, like, I love how they broke the fourth wall and they showed, you know, when Danielle turned around and showed, like, the, the, um, the behind the scenes people. And I thought that was dope. And also liked how she walked up to them and talked to them because I feel like Danielle will maybe be the one to go to the staff, talk to the staff staff that like hey can you help the other members out maybe she's the one that's always trying to ask like the management for help the girls need help and other girls maybe too scared to speak out danielle is going to be the one to speak out because danielle is such a sweet person she know how to talk to people in a way to get people to help them because remember danielle was the one that was trying to help hayen a lot as well because hayen is the baby of the group also, Danielle being the third oldest, people probably wouldn't expect Danielle to have so much of a leadership because they expect Minji to be the leader. But sometimes the younger people in the group can be just as good of a leader as the older members are. Maybe even having Danielle around, it gives Minji you know, a chance to relax because she has another person in the group who can help out. She can help out. And I hope you all enjoyed my theories. I hope you guys like my theories and comment down below your guys' theories of the video as well. And like I always say, stay true to yourself they bless be happy be nice to people and deuces baby also one more thing honey wants to say team iphone <laughs> don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you for some maniacs